Good morning, and I hope everyone had a great weekend. So this morning we left the lodge and we heard hyenas going berserk. And we came across quite a few of them with a big um, impala ram carcass. And they all went crazy running around, eating and ripping it to pieces when a big female came in, took the carcass and ran off. So we were with her now and we suspect that there's a day not too far away from where we are. So we'll stick with them and see what plays off here. Now, hyenas have what you call a matriarchal system, where the females lead the whole clan. There's only one female which we know is the queen. It's probably the female here on the left hand side. She's the one that came in and took the kill away from everyone else and found a nice little spot. And now she's feeding with one of the cubs. Incredible, as you can hear the bones crashing. Pound to pound, hyenas crushing force of their jaw is a lot more than lions and that's why they can chew straight through bones and they will finish this whole carcass and the only thing that will be left is maybe the horns. A lot of people only think hyenas are scavengers and they steal food from other predators. They are very good at scavenging but hyenas are also great hunters themselves. So you can see they have a bit of a sloping back. It means that the front part of their body is a lot bigger and very muscular. And that's just, just to help them carry big pieces of meat back to the den sites. Um, and they can also run long distances. So if they do hunt, let's say they do chase an impala, they can run for miles and miles without getting tired. And they'll literally chase their prey until they until exhaustion and then they'll take it down. In some areas you'll find hyenas, their success rate in hunting is, uh, is higher than lions or let's say leopards. It's such an important animal for the area. They pretty much it decomposes so any rotten carcasses and bones that's lying around they clean it up and keep the area clean. They control diseases in the area. <laughs> As she's moving, she stops, she listens, looks around, possibly going to try and follow this drainage line in front of us. Definitely wants to hunt. Some impalas rutting in front of her. Let's see if she shows interest. Great area for her to hunt in. It's a lot of cover. Very thick vegetation, lots of shade. River riverbed in front of her. We had an impala rutting in front of her. Alright, so we've tried to follow this female leopard into this very thick drainage area, but she's crossed the drainage line into a pretty impossible place to drive. So we've tried going around, see if we can't locate her on the other side. Looks like she's on full hunting mode and we will just give her some space and maybe try and follow up a bit later and see if the tracks come out of that area. Got a big herd of elephants just crossing the Sabi River. You can see the big female in the front, the matriarch who's leading them. She normally goes through big rivers like this first. A little calf following her. 
in the rest of the We have about 10 or 11 spotted hyenas and they're all st st start starting to move. Sometimes these little cubs are very curious and they'll come up to us and smell and look at us to see what we are. All of this playing and chasing each other and biting all helped him in the future of hunting, trying to take over kills from lions. Oh, he's got him by the tail. Him and that little cub is getting a beating this morning. Getting bullied. <laughs> you can see those big massive round ears. This is quite an old female on my left. Now the females being the dominant ones, they got more testosterone actually going through them than the males. The females almost double the size of males with these two still going at each other. So quite a few more hyenas have joined. This whole open area in front of us is filled with hyenas. So they, the den is probably not too far away from here. But we're gonna be leaving them. We heard some impalas alarm calling and there's also audio of lions roaring quite far away. So we'll slowly make our way in that direction see what we can find. This is insane. We just came across a big pack of African wild dogs. Interesting, there's a female that's pregnant. So we're going into the season where wild dogs will start looking for den sites. So they can have their pups. Normally there's old termite mounds that's been abandoned. And there's nice big holes in there. Just now, but they're all running after impalas into this nice big open clearing in front of us. One of the most difficult animals to keep up with because just when they run they just... There we go, they're going for an impala again. You can see these wild dogs have now pulled their ears back. It's almost like the whole pack is now getting on defense mode because there's a whole clan of hyenas that's now getting chased away. Let's follow them. As at this stage, the, the hyenas are outnumbered by these wild dogs. We counted 11 wild dogs here, and there was only two or three hyenas that came running in here and very quickly realized that they are outnumbered and they had to bolt and get out of here as quick as possible. You see there's a nice harem of zebra that just came in. They're slowly walking towards the wild dogs who's sleeping now. The thing is the stallion in that harem only walks in the front and the zebras are a little bit too big for these wild dogs. These zebras will chase them around and wild dogs will chase them. So what they'll be looking for is a foal. And I see there is two foals in that hear them there at the back but there's quite a few zebras around them which is great for protection so these wild dogs aren't showing any interest in them at the moment it's 
Our dogs all just jumped up because we had a warthog that just came in. And it looks like they're all going after it now. So we just had a, another little interaction with the wild dogs and the hyenas. They chased the hyenas all over the place and they're now coming back to the rest of the pack and finding shady spots to lie in and hopefully sleep here for the day and then we'll come out this afternoon and see if we can't find them and follow them around. So our biggest hope is for them to den around this area which will be awesome. We've come back in the afternoon now to the same spot these wild dogs were in this morning and they're still around. The one has actually just picked up an old horn from an impala ram. It's running to the rest of the pack. Massive herd of buffalo. It's grazing along. So normally what they'll do is fill up their rumen just before they're gonna go lie down in this nice big open area and rest for a while. Another beautiful day at Lion Sands. Sun setting, buffalo all around us.